Mikhail Gorbachev led the Soviet Union today in its annual celebration of the Bolshevik Revolution, but the official ceremonies were dogged by protests against Gorbachev from the left and the right, and even by a burst of gunfire in Red Square. Barry Peterson reports. They marched by the thousands through Red Square, remembering the Bolshevik Revolution. And Soviet security was at its tightest because Mikhail Gorbachev and the country's top leadership were there as well. So it was all the more amazing when shots rang out. Police rushed a man brandishing a sawed-off double-barrel hunting rifle. No one was injured, and the head of the KGB said tonight the man was probably insane. An eyewitness said the man seemed too far away from Gorbachev to be intent on assassination. Gorbachev was separated from the gunman by thousands of marchers, seemingly unaware of what happened. This was supposed to be the point of the day, celebrating the Bolshevik victory during the Communist Revolution. But in this country where communism is under increasing attack, the point of all this was all but lost. Gorbachev broke with tradition to personally lead a part of the parade, only to later see slogans attacking him and his economic reforms. After the official parade, thousands followed Boris Yeltsin into Red Square, brandishing signs saying, it is time to end communist rule, time to end Gorbachev's rule. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Moscow.